welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you the operation of the 555 timer in monostable mode. As you may know, this IC timer has three modes of operation. The stable mode, monostable and B stable. In the stable mode, which is the most commonly used, the timer produces a continuous train of pulses, rectangular pulses, and we can control the frequency and the width of the pulses and also the amplitude by varying the parameters of the circuit. The second mode, which is what we will see in this video, is the monostable mode. The circuit produces a single pulse when a signal is applied we can control the duration of the pulse. And the third and final mode is the B-stable mode, when also a single pulse is produced, but we need to apply a signal to start the pulse and then apply the signal again to end the pulse. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, Consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Here are the connections of the timer in order for it to work on monostable mode. The time of the output signal is controlled by resistor 1 and capacitor 1. And this time is given by this formula 1.1 times C1 times R1. In my case, I am using a capacitor of 47 microfarads and a potentiometer of 250 kilo ohms. So when we press the push button here, the output starts for this amount of time and we will obtain a signal from pin number three, which in this case will turn on an LED. So let's try the circuit. I will put the potentiometer at a minimum. That means that the time will also be short and the power supply is on at 5 volts so let me push the button and you can see that the LED only shines for a fraction of a second if we increase the resistance the time will also increase more resistance will mean more time and as I told you you can control the precise amount of time that you need the circuit on by varying your resistance and or the value of the capacitor well there you have it the monostable mode of operation of the 555 timer that's all for today's video. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.